So starting here with adding a layer of gesso onto my uh, index card that I cut out in the right size for my little book. And just using a brush to put up, uh, put on the first layer of uh, gesso. And I don't mind the brush strokes, kind of like the texture of that. Uh, once that is dry, I'm using a, a few of my archival inks to get some color onto my card. I'm using a round shaped uh, blending tool with a foam pad. And with putting the color onto my card, it left a kind of a round shape uh, print, imprint on the card, um, a kind of a round shape uh, movement. Um, I didn't mind that at all, kind of like uh, the effect. So I kept on going uh, with uh, the, the round shape uh, blending tool and picked out a few more colors. So uh, I used the magenta hue, the plum and the sepia, uh, I believe, for this uh, background. And also making sure everything is covered and doing the edges as well. Uh, next step is adding some white splatters and I'm just using a white acrylic paint and a little brush, uh, water it down and then tip the brush and I will get some nice splatters. Uh, next step is stamping and here I probably have done, could have done it in another way. I used my acrylic block and my ink pad and also I'm thinking that the ink pad is kind of running out of ink. So I need to replace that or adding more ink. Um, kind of thinking of uh, buying the archival uh, ink because I like that more than the Stazon. I'm not sure why. The Stazon is, uh, is smelly as well. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, I printed this uh, image of the of the girl and it didn't got uh, as crisp as I would have liked it. Um, so I went in with a fine tip micron pen, which has a 0 0.1 uh, tip. And I drew around the lines uh, to uh, make it stand out a bit more and uh, make the image uh, more crispier. I also had used the stamp from Finna Bear with the little lines. That is uh, fading out to, to the top and that was the intention. So, um, but the image, yeah, that was a kind of um, a disappointment. Next time I probably should stamp on uh, a piece of tissue paper and then glue it on to my card. But I'm guessing uh, once I have filled up this ink pad or uh, replaced it, it will be much better. And here I'm adding some washi tapes, do a few different um, um, patterns and then my dreadful stapler comes out and I got a few staples in it. Uh, that one on the bottom didn't work all that well. Uh, I had to pull it out and try it again. Uh, so yeah, I really need to go and order me uh, a new stapler and also the ink, of course. I have a little list lying here with things that I need and that I run out of. So uh, this is my homemade acrylic spray paint. And here I go completely wrong. I made a big mistake. I wanted to create some big blobs of ink and the acrylic spray paint didn't do that. So I thought to use the liquid text ink with a pipette. And I didn't read the label and I thought it was black, but it was actually kind of a purple color, but that also went totally wrong and I smudged my whole card. 
luckily I could wipe it all off with my with a baby wipe so uh, my card was saved and um, I decided instead of the the big splatters I used the stamp from Indigo Blue which had a, a ink blob pattern so once I did that I uh, you, uh, picked out some stickers I used uh, I had to uh, find the word you and I did that with the Tim Holtz stickers and from action I had this other sticker sheet that had the word hello and um, that's my quote for today hello you uh, inking the edges as well and then I think my card is done just dating it and uh, signing it and that will be it for my index card so guys I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and see you again very soon have a great day and stay tuned for other projects bye bye